That makes the world to hear the voice of the gospel. But it's paying for that. The gospel is for free. It's, but it's expensive. You need to know that. That is why there must be a partnership. Now our parents are not just human beings. Our system of advantage in the realm of the spirit for humankind. Our father might not have told him as the vision but if you are somebody who capture by now by now you should have know what is he standing for but for those who have not yet understood what he stood for or what he stands for. Let me explain it to you. But that in evangelism, evangelism is bringing the gospel to the people. If I'm ready, evangelism is giving the bringing the, peop, the, the gospel to the people. Now, uh, there are many ways of bringing the gospel to the people. But allow me to speak about two. There's a gospel wherever you preach. Preaching deliverance. Preaching the power of God through manifestation of miracles. Preaching through, formation, to preaching through transformation of people. Hallelujah. It's one of our father's vision. But there's another one which we have ignored more than we have thought. The Bible says. If you do not have love, even if you can prophesy, if you, you can deliver, you are nothing. It is not me, it is the Bible. Now listen to what Jesus said. The Pharisees wanted to capture Jesus. The lawyer who knows the, 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 the law of the Moses in Matthew 22, 37, they asked him which of Moses' law is the greatest. He said, love your God with all your heart. Mind. And he said, there is another one which is equated like this, which is love <laughs> you. He said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. GTS, you can agree with me. Our father don't need to tell you that he loves you. He is loving himself. Come on, GTC. Don't you know that? Our father, he is love. And he loves the Lord. We know it. But like I said, there's something has captured me that has for so many years. I have been asking about it. This is what he will do. Him and our mother. In the month of their birthday. They will be fasting. Including that. Including that day of. Of, 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 of birthday. And I was wondering. Fasting birthday. Me. We want to go to KFC. From KFC to Nando's. From Nando's to wherever I will want. And I will expect so many presents. But listen to how our daddy celebrates his birthday. For me, it has been a, a, a case to me. What's going on here? But at least the Lord has revealed it to me. 
He will do that. And he will bring to the last privilege something on his birthday. A man to have vision has burden. The burden of our father is the last privilege. If you don't know that, now you know. That is why I say the gospel is for free. But it's expensive. But he takes the gospel to the people through giving. The Bible in the book, the Bible in the book of James verse 2, Bible chapter 2, when you go to verse 14, it talks about your faith. He said, why your faith doesn't have anything? Why your brother lack? Why your brother don't have something to eat? And you say to him, go in peace. Whereas you can't even give him something. Because that is the gospel. That our father is preaching. That is why he needs partnership. Because his vision is not limited to the denomination. In actual fact, it's a national project. Honorable, you can believe with me the statistics. The reason why crime is going higher is because of the upbringing of our kids. Trust me and trust me in this. If you ask our parents, what will what is it that will make them to smile? They will tell you, bring build us ten hectares. Ten. Then they will bring all the less privileged, including the street kids in the same shelter so that he can build that person to be a total man who will be sound in his spiritual well-being and be sound in his own physical training them to become something in the society. That is his Right now. That is why there is a need of a partnership. Because his vision is not just something. It's a big thing which affects the nation at large. We need prophets of this nature. He is not just somebody. He is a system of God to bring possibilities unto mankind. That is why he's staying in the presence of God for the nation of our country. So if you are here, I know God is talking to you. You might be saying, this is what I think I might be. You may have something that says, I will partner with him maybe for just a lump sum. Maybe you can say, I will just on a yearly basis bring something in the altar so that this vision should die. Or you can say, I want to do it on a monthly basis. But I know God is talking to somebody right to take the gospel to the people. You know when God is talking to you, you can. But we've got servants of God who can help you. We've got Apostle Modise in the house. We've got our chairman, Pastor Alfie. We've got our wise lady. 
you can guru ti ruta you can just ask them what's going on about the partnership because i am interested in because this, this, you will be touching god through a man of god you know when we give we not give to men we give to god a man and God blesses you. Trust me on this. As God is speaking to you, make sure you give God the good, the, the good correct answer. Because I know he's talking to you right now. That is why we need partnership. The gospel is for free. The gospel but it's expensive. Shalom, church of God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. I give a call because of time. Because of time. Hallelujah. Wow. Give me a medewa, the partners. Hallelujah. A lot can be said about partnership and the kingdom of God. But because of time, let us take this moment and celebrate. Sunday school as they are going to present to us hallelujah Sunday school Sunday school celebrate them celebrate them celebrate them Nothing stays the same. Heaven is way for the mention of the name. Hallelujah, people of God at Sunday school. We are waiting for Sunday school. The main guest house of today. Like a flame. Healing. Hallelujah. See we can Jan Abata Hore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, people of God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. As our Father is going to lead his way out. Clap your hands, clap your hands for the guest of honor. Clap your hands, church of God. Clap your hands, people of God. Indeed, it is a great day to be celebrated. It is a beautiful day indeed. We are continuing with our program. Sunday school, you may continue. You are welcome to the podium. Hallelujah. You may be seated, church. The atmosphere is changing. Nothing stays the same. Heaven is waiting for the mention of the name. The spirit is moving, burning like a flame. Healing broken by the one we proclaim. Raise it up.
Shalom Church. I am Tutu Maliko from GTS Children's Names. My poem goes like this. GTS is more than chocolate in a pretty box. GTS is more than nice cut saying I love you God. GTS is not something that you can find at the mall. GTS is something to cherish with one and all. GTS it is exciting as flying like a bee. GTS is like a spirit running wild and free. GTS is not a thing, an object that you can buy. GTS is much better than a regular star. Hashtag 5th year celebration. Muhulu Kwane Wo! Hallelujah! Shalom, church. My name is Karaba Mutarimang. I am from GTS Children's Ministry. My, go my poem goes like this. GTS is a bit like food. GTS is a bit like food. You may forget all your problems. GTS is a bit like food. Whatever you think and you will die. GTS is a bit like food. That's enough. Hashtag Fifth year celebration. Salam Church. My name is Katako Matava from GTS Children's Ministry. My poem goes like this. Did I ever tell you about my GTS? Did I ever tell you how much I love GTS? Did I ever Hallelujah, somebody! Wow, wow, wow. Shalom, church. Shalom, church. My name is Wami Mulele King from GTS Children's Ministry, and my poem goes like this. God truly sent you to lead and direct us on the right path. As you turn one year older, may you continue leading a god food life of wisdom and great harvest from your hard work in the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. On this church's founding, I would like to congratulate you on using this church to do so much good and bringing in so many people. You are a great man of God. Indeed, you are a prophet. You are the son of Major One. You are the ambassador. You are the tall man. You are the black Elijah. Thank you. Hashtag. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Muhulu kwani wo. Hallelujah. Sunday school, wow. Salam church. Salam church. My name is Tapama. I come from GTS Chalice Ministry. My friend goes like this. GTS is my. GTS is a power and association with God. GTS is a miracle, but this one is wrong. GTS is a illusion for everyone to share. GTS is big and bold as much to share you can. GTS is not with you. To let you know that you are saved. GTS is for family friends and loved ones. GTS is shown in the little things we do. GTS is a gentle, caring voice, whispering. I love your step with your celebrity. Shalom Church. My name is Anya Jackson. I'm from GTS Children's Ministry. My poem goes like this. No one can tear GTS apart. I love GTS with all my heart. More than the moon, more than the stars. Longing to be where we belong, because I love GTS with all my heart. No one can tear GTS apart. I feel sad and blue, only dreaming of my GTS, for GTS is a joy of my life. Hashtag fifth year and the Hallelujah, somebody! Shalom, church. My name is Sogamuta Mekayote. I'm from GTS Torrance Ministries. My poem goes like this. My GTS, my pride. To my GTS, I love you so. You are so special. I hope you know. With every day trust passes by, you are more the twinkle of my eye. So loving, so giving a heart of gold. 
Always my family, even when I'm old. Your life shines through for all to see. I'm proud for you to be a part of me. Hashtag 50 year celebration. Celebrate! Shalom, Chad. My name is Minister Kwati from Children's Service, GPS Children's Ministry. And my poem, my poem goes like this. My heart says to you, BTS is the one. Just change your view. BTS is an apple eaten together. GT, BTS is the taste of joy. Share it with each other. It's neither about jealousy, neither hurt. DTS feels like heaven. Let's, in, in the fifth year celebration, let's be together and move around one to seven. Hashtag fifth year celebration. Thank you. Celebrate, somebody celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Hallelujah. So strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so great, wow, so strong cool. and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Powerful poem by The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His, and He work too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty. Celebrate them, oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So 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 celebrate them, hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's celebrate them as they walk outside. Let's celebrate them, let's celebrate them, let's celebrate them, let's celebrate them. Let's celebrate them, hallelujah. Hallelujah, people of God. Hallelujah. Clap hands for our children. Hallelujah. Bible ya ruto helamba na bate hon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hone ja na ba gae tsora tswela ka dibuitsa rona tsa letsatsi. Mona ko nya go mpie go ritanela moholo wa ntlo re ba beti go ra re fele foko. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate him. Let's celebrate him as he's coming. Hallelujah. Um, 
Jafare DJ Mapete, our associate pastor. Yes. The presence of Mr. J.J. Mapete. Um, Kose Polo Yamote, Re Simon Mante. Re 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 Sokamo. Mr. Sokamo. Le Baruti Bote Montu. And all the pastors in the house. Tota Kanya Mete Le Ne Lo Kore Kito Ho Na Hale Lo Na Te Jibote. Prophetess. Presence of our mother who gave it to our prophet. She is the one. Yeah, I'm not going to go to the house. I'm not going to go to the house. I was just going to get it in the year of 2016. That was the time I met the prophet. We met before we met each other. We asked for prayer somehow. Then we met there. And we ended up knowing each other. I invited him when I was uh, in the friendship. And the friendship uh, became stronger. Uh, I was invited to his family. His family came, he joined us, we went to church. When he arrived at the church, um, Moporofita Mogolo, Alemoha Raro, the senior prophet, me a Molella Horish, our father, Ogabo Sale, Mister Mogolo, look at the Harisir for me, GTS. He told him, Aro, you are Minister of Ogabo Salo, who simulates among our friends, the Pedit, if you delay. You have delayed your time, you could have started uh, two years back. Make a Neson Tahaneo. Same Sunday. Then, then we started, it was only two families. Then we formed the GTS church that we are seeing today. And the stage at the higher stage. I was not having money at that time. No one to finance us. We were taking from our pockets. We were taking from our pockets. We were taking from but we are doing all this together. If I have something, the prophet is going to cover me for my children to have something to eat. And we were with each other until now that we are seeing us here. We took this road together. Raya Guaho Major One, Prophet Bushiri. We went to Major One, Prophet Shepherd Bushiri. Then we went to Major 
mineral o mais o o mineral lá o o recupa o ipeling o barona e a mulher until our request was acknowledged já não o ipeling o piego aí será o trabalho we have been together in these five years. There's nothing that has ever uh, hurt us. Uh, but I think this is that is uh, what we are going to do. We are going to do this. 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 And we are there there. I thank God that we are still together. Even though we are old, we are no longer like the first story. This shows that uh, the days are now uh, gone. gone. That are still pushing through with him. Lastly, I wanted to make a request for the chief or the leaders of the village. The chancellor. We are asking you where are we going to have our own, our own plot. We don't have our own plot. Plot God. But I was asking the leaders. We are continuing to give us the plus, us also something that we may have our own home. So that one day when we invite you, we invite you to our own house now. This is a request to the there's nothing that I can say. But we are together. Hallelujah. Raso le la baga eso le dipuisa rona mona ko nya go mpie go ritatsa the invited speaker Pastor Philip Pitswe from World of Grace. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate him. Hallelujah. Are mo ipelele baga eso are mo ipelele. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you so, so much, Mr. Moise Piro. Let me start by honoring the grace upon my spiritual father, Major One, and my mother, Prophetess Mary Bishiri, and the grace upon my brother, senior son of Major One, the ambassador, the father of GTS. There is a grace operating in this place. I honor the grace. Son of Mejawa, may God bless you and enlarge your territory. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We are here to talk about the beginning of the ambassador at the beginning of GTS ministry. Hallelujah. But before I can go anywhere, let me honor the presence of our Kosi. Kosi Mante of Mupani village. Uh, I believe Kosi Telekelo of Ranaga is around. I don't know whether he's 
They just say he is here. Kosi A is there, my father. Rawamogela is with the mama. We welcome you, Lemaro. Eh, Makosi. Ra la mogela batsaki barona. Kaka le bala. Kubua ka bulinte njaka. Our prophetess in the house, the wife of the ambassador, the lion's cub, Without forgetting to speak about the presence the of the only our banana in the bangle tree of the ambassador. Hallelujah. I'm not alone, I'm with eh, the most beautiful wife. My wife see. and my daughter are Nala in the house. I also have came with a uh, from World of Grace Mankodi branch Pastor Marungwana and the wife of the son of Mejawan is in the house. Also they have delegation from Mankodi. I don't know where they are seated. I I I Mankodi a uh, World of Grace they are in the house also and also I have a uh, senior son of Major One Pastor Matabeng and Mama Mama Tabeng from Mutudi Branch. Well done, great. Thank you so much. I don't know who else. But let me cut the story short because of time. Son of Major One, this is your day. This is your day. This is the beginning of GTS. Church at the beginning of the son of Meshawa. The Bible says in the beginning God created heaven and earth and earth was without form. Hallelujah. Why? Because God was trying it alone. During the beginning I believe they said to you I know that God. Why? Because you were alone. But the Bible says from nowhere the Holy Spirit begin to hover. Hallelujah. And when the Holy Spirit was hovering, the Bible says, and God said, let there be light. Why? God was trying it alone, but God is in Trinity. You know? So he was trying it alone, but Holy Spirit just appeared from nowhere. And now God realized that, no, 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 we still need one so that we can be three. He said, let there be light, and there was light. In the beginning, the ambassador tried it alone. But later on, he saw that he, uh, it, was, it was like there's no form. He introduced the committee. I've seen the chairperson here. He introduced the committee. And later on, they introduced the congregation. Meaning now, you are complete, you are working in praise. Hallelujah. So we just want to thank God for he did not do alone. He involved the, uh, the committee and the congregation. I'm not going there. I want to talk about the son of Major Y, how we met and how I am, how it came that I am standing here. I believe it was 2017. 2017. 2017. Uh, we, I came here to, no, we first met Go Pretoria and uh, Elijah's office. That is where we and I saw so much love. So much love. Unconditional love. Celebrate our father. Celebrate our father. Celebrate our father. We just met. We introduced ourselves. Then we parted ways. We prayed together in the office of Elijah and Evangelist Priest. We parted ways. I came here, to, there was a man on Nabi Jogoti Nyati. I think he was saving here. KK. I came here to pick him with uh, another brother. We were going for partners. So I had my, my daughter there. We were standing outside. It was a prayer line. It was Saturday. And when we were standing under the, chair, the, the tent there, he said, there is a man of God outside there. You need my anointing. Can you come inside? I came inside. And 
He was here, I was outside. He did not see me. He saw me in the spirit. I came inside. Then I knelt down. Then he anointed me with the oil. Then we parted ways again. 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. Until this year, we met Gumalau. No communication, no nothing. No communication, no nothing. We met Gumalawi. And when we met Gumalawi, uh, now we introduced ourselves again. Our man of God. And I remember now, I introduced him to another man of God. And I said, this man is uh, more than eight churches in Botswana. Asked me again, do you mean this He's got ministry. And we parted ways again. Hallelujah. The only thing that I can say about the ambassador so is he is like David. Whether he is successful or not, he behaves wisely. That's, the, that's what I have realized about my brother here. He is successful in everything, but he behaves wisely. You cannot even realize or recognize whether he is good. When you meet him outside, or here, outside, you will ask him who is the owner of the church. I'm telling you, that is who he is. He, he just touched me right now. We are supposed to bring present for him. Now he's the one bringing present for us. He's been giving the, the main guest speaker present today, but it's his day. It's uh, the day of the church. So there are different kind of prophets. He, he is a prophet. In a king's throne. A he is a territorial commander. Hallelujah. You can even see the way he's dressing. Oh, yes. You can do better than that, somebody. This celebrate our father. Is. Celebrate our father. Yes. There is a message. I believe those who were sick, they are already here. Yes, there is a communication and how he, they are dressing. Uh, you can see this is indeed a prophet of God. Uh, and he is the son of a major prophet. He is not faking the sonship to our father, Major Y. I met him several times in the office of my father in Pretoria and in Malawi. So you are covered by the grace and the love Gen of God. Lapis Celebrate the grace of this house, somebody. Celebrate the love of this house. I'm telling you, I've, been, I've seen love from the ambassador. But it came a time now I met the mother uh, of the GTS. There was no difference. This is why they are where they are today. It is because the love from the mother and the love from the father, they do not compete. They complement each other. Yes. The weakness of the mother is the strength of the father. The strength of the father is the weakness of the father. So there, there is no way they compete. Hallelujah. So I will encourage everyone who is under the anointing of the prophet and the grace of the prophet, the son of Major One. I, will, I just want to say to you, you are not lost. There is a covering above you. There is a grace. There is a voice that is speaking behind this pulpit. To you, there is the voice of the ambassador speaking to you, but to him, there is the voice of Major One speaking to him. So he is God like God to you, and the Major One is like God to him. He is communicating direct from God 
to your life. Even if I can invite someone today to say, tomorrow there is church. Go, there is a son of Major One. He's going to locate him. So you've got the prophet of God in your midst, people of God, you are not lost. Please stand with my brother, support him in the things of ministry. Because what I have seen in this man, he is the man who behaved wisely. That is a David spirit. It's David knew that he is anointed. He killed Goliath. He never uh, he behaved Let me give you one scripture in the Bible in the book of Isaiah 60 from verse number 1 to the last verse. That is my present to you. That is your scripture. Hold on unto the scripture. May your sons come from afar. May your wealth come from the oceans and oceans. May your uh, sons and daughters fly like this. Amen and amen. amen. Thank you so, so much, uh, sons and daughters of the ambassador. May God bless you. Hallelujah. Somebody celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Hallelujah. Wow, wow, wow. Indeed, you are in the season of the dispensation of grace. Hallelujah. Say to your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor, don't let this grace pass you by. Do not allow this grace to pass you by. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Such a wonderful day indeed. Right now, Raza Labaha is Hoka, the invited speakers. Monagwan Humpia Goketa Litella, Bishop Rasokamo, from Pisidia Faith Mission, to give us the speech. Hallelujah. Let's Let celebrate him, 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 him that love. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. Celebrate him. When Jesus says, nobody can say no. When Jesus says, yes, nobody.
Ke ne ke kopwa gore ke ba le pasa le ma 1. Verse 1 to 6. Pasalema one. Akturana my home kwale. Halena yone ka go. Ona leon. Impalle ho. Pasalema chapter one. Verse one. <laughs> Amen. Ready. But prophet, 
Father Ya nuka na inetu ni fole na na leboka o. Kuna lebo. Aha. Twenty four na ora ora hanka ba na tona schoolon kabe ili ili doctor. If you was in school uh, now he could be a doctor. Now he's a doctor in the house of the Lord. And now kimo kima kamonto nyamare na. A full brother, so he's a prophet. Kimo porofiti itebele ngoko mara ho. Ka gore o dirile ditiro tsotlhe tse modima se gore se modimo sa se dirile. O perekile ditiro tsa ditla tsotlhe tse modima di bo dirile. 24 years on a go ra go le no gona go na le ba yeng ge This means that he can also sit with the angels of God. Ga o ka go lebelela mo ikwa la tsenolo. If you can look at the uh, at the book of uh, Revelation. What's that verse 4? From verse 4. What's that 3 to 5? How can it say I barely went there for a year? If you can read it, it will tell you. Since Johanna said, "Born a little more than six months," what John saw when when he was sent this earth? He was a prophet. 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 Badi kuruhi le mosti lo nsa mora yena. Kiso ne kirin. Kiso ne se kirin twenty four na le boka ho. That's why I say twenty four has a meaning. Now that's why he's a prophet. Kiso ne le mo prophet. Oh hele te. He's a full prophet. He's complete. Oh mo. He is complete. Me hagen si kesi ala pele nyana. Did you want to have a graduate? And his age is graduated. He has got 40 plus. Celebrate, 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 celebrate somebody. He has got 40 plus. How are you going to say your name? If you take that from the word of God again. If you take that from the word of God again. So that a person who is having 40 years plus. Seka wasa tenge moshi. An example is Moses. O kara kateri ili ale mona. O kara kateri ili anzal mo buri ready mbo. He worked hard in this ministry. Abu dira ya la mo di ma abana no kuswana kora mo la reja non sini. O nunu hi le mo profiti. And now God say so that now Sydney you are my true. You are a prophet. You are a prophet because he has been tested. He has been tested, and he was quite. He is a qualified prophet. Yes, he is a very, very qualified prophet because he has got more than forty years. Jagamu apostola Paulo na rati moitu amarari. Ose kana mobile opedi atakapona ako. Don't any somebody until he's matured. Janu, mohu elenga ka kibata kholera kere kere ke ya was run salvation. Lastly, I want to say. Idi khala ngwa kaya nwa butano. Salvation Church is now turning five years. Idi khala ngwa kaya tano. Is now turning five years. Tano borai mo budi ready njia jo jo yone jo. What does this mean to this ministry? Kile tsoho le. Yo kona ko yarele la jano. Yo kona ko yarele la jano. Inunuhi le jano. Iti le jano. Kereke yego hadi tano isorebe. Ukatza mo luka la haba Ephesians chapter four verse eleven. Wakereke yego hadi tano. Isso não se vê na lei muito feita. Isso não é na lei na lei muito feita. E na lei vai fazer. E na lei vai rude. E na lei vai apostolar. E na lei vai diaconar. Haririalo da virgem imóho. 
that now is a full church or a complete church. It has nothing. It's now a complete church. That's why we say let it grow, this church of God. The church that is five years. Okay, Bona Molekwa Bukai Bona Mopera Hamadi Supajana. How are the Bella Molokan chapter five, verse one to eight? Bona Gereke, Il Horene, and I do over the town. Memon Namon was a Bolohonana and Nana. It does the Mohone do ye? A Bona Polo Mohone. Gereke was a town, it does the police. It has blessings. It has everything. And now because it's five years, now there's going to be a Kereke Ewa has a town of Matayo, verse 15 to 21. Rebona Honoro, the Jesu Christina Abela, but who got you love for the town? So Jesus Christ given to people with five thousand. Five thousand people with five loaves. Me Yabalosa. Kereke Ewa has a town. You can roll a moral over to value five thousand. It has to carry that load. You are Celebrate, 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 celebrate somebody. It can have 5,000 uh, people and more. That's why five is very, very important. is the place of restoration. It's the place of healing. It's of healing. I want to say to you, don't go everywhere you are. Don't go anywhere. Come to me, all you are heavy and Yes. It's a place. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mudimu rakosi ya bosolori ya kule boha. Mudimu kana kuzote mulu kwa rona. Shaba sahau kisema mulu kwa kisema hapa la kahafu. Kera kia hujia kwa wenyofodi kisema mulu kwa rona. Eshara mwa kaza tano hori tete pele muluki. Abu lintenja hapa ni mohi yana kuzi. Rara kibali ni mohi kwa yana mulu kwa rona. Umiling hapa la kashaba sahau kaja hofa. Mweta lepe le mulu kwa rona. Umota tu bila rara. Wabana kwa chana rara. Hosa tete la uprofiti muluki. Yes. Teddy, Teddy, you are Teddy.
see that excitement, somebody? Oh, yes. You can take Hallelujah. your seat. Hallelujah. Ratanela, the national pastor of GTS ministry, Apostle Moyo. This is your moment, my, my apostle. Hallelujah. First and foremost, I want to honor the grace that is working upon my parents, the prophet of God, prophet Sidney Mbangwa, and our mother, prophet Espono Mbangwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you happy people of God? To have a father like the major son, prophet Sidney Mbangwa. Come on, let us celebrate this grace in this house. All dignitaries, I honor you this morning. We recognize your presence. Our associate pastor, Pastor JJ Mapete. Um, our father in the house, Mr. Babedi. Babedi. I recognize your presence in this place. All prophets in this place. All wise men, sons, and daughters of my father in the house. Thank you for coming to this place this morning. All guest speakers, sons of Major One, you are welcome into this place this morning. You are in the house of your father also. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's Throne Salvation Church is a ministry that is determined to make Jesus famous. Hallelujah. Do I have people who want to make Jesus famous together with us? We have an assignment as the Jesus Nation to make Jesus famous. Hallelujah. We are living in the end times. It is time to empty the kingdom of darkness and fill the house of heaven with the people of God. Hallelujah. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. I am not only here to celebrate the grace that is upon my father. I want to celebrate the neck that is connected to his head. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, when you hold your head like this and you don't have a neck, how, how are you going to turn your head? There's a neck that is controlling the head of our father, making sure that our father is having peace. And that person is no one other than the mother of the house, prophetess Onombawa. Let us celebrate in this place. Mama, we love you so much. May you keep doing what you are doing and the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, people of God. As you see, our father is very handsome this morning. It is because of our mother. Hallelujah. Uh, our ministry, people of God, I believe one time our father told me 
The name of our ministry, mm -hmm. I was given mm -hmm. 2004. But after being given that name, he did not rush to go and open a ministry. He waited upon God. The Bible says a child was born but a son was given. He waited for himself to grow first. To be mature first. Hallelujah. That's when the name was given to him. You know, when, the, when God gives you a name, there in the society also they, they tell you choose other names. About 10 names are supposed to go there. But to his amazement and to our amazement also, the same name that was given by God is the same name that was chosen by the society. Hallelujah. God's throne of salvation, church. God's throne of salvation. People of God, I am here. I'm very humbled to be a son of the ambassador. A man so loving, very humble. A man who fears God. A man who cannot tell a dog food take move from here. A dog, a dog. Hallelujah. What more of a human being? He is a mystery on his own. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the devil is shambles the devil like no one's before. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, people of God. I want to encourage someone today, especially those who want to open ministries. I have seen many men of God they want to start there our father started from it he started from a tree hallelujah with no money with nothing hallelujah but he trusted the voice of God upon him hallelujah but nowadays we want if I open a ministry today I want to wear touch my shoes. Hallelujah. And I want everyone to see me that I'm driving a nice car. A ministry with one week. In the ministry of God, we have to take every course. You cannot start the foundation from the roof. Hallelujah. So our father has started from the foundation. And that foundation was started by Jesus Christ himself. We might be here today celebrating five years of God's throne salvation church. But this ministry in the spirit is not five years. It was birth to when Jesus Christ was born. When he I was assigning his disciples and make disciples his, his own ministry also was established by them our foundation is Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah people of God let us clap our hands together for Jesus in this place our ministry it began in 2006 but it was registered fully and legally in 2017. Hallelujah. Uh, as time went by, our father has started by the tree then. The ministry began to grow. And they moved to a place where they were staying just behind here in Mopani here. That's where the ministry began to grow even more. Hallelujah. 
So I, I think there are many who started with us wh when we were still there in the house. If you are here, please wave your hands. Those who were in the house there when we, before we came to this place. Hallelujah. It began there in 2019. We experienced a great growth in the ministry. We had uh, the media team joining also. And now we, we could broadcast even on YouTube. We could broadcast on Facebook. We could broadcast on Zoom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, people of God. As you can see, all these things that our brothers are holding, these are the things also that God blessed our servant in the house. I call him a servant because he's a servant of God. Hallelujah. Because of his humbleness, he doesn't take himself higher. Hallelujah. So, uh, there's a documentary I want you to take a look. And you will understand the man that you are following. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, people of God. This man you are seeing here suffered a lot to get where he is. When he was trying to run away from his calling, God wanted to kill him. Because also himself, he wanted to achieve goals of his own. He had his own vision of having his own things that he had worked for with his own hands. When he tried all these things, God wanted to kill him. He used to even pump, you know, he was gymming. He is not the man that you are seeing today. He could pull, wow. you know. Celebrate our father, celebrate our father, celebrate our father. Yes. Wow. But God said, I want to humble him. I want to finish that meat that he's holding on his hands. He putting on fasting, on fasting, on fasting, on fasting. Hallelujah. There is this documentary that I want us to watch. I want you to be patient with us so that you can know the man that you are following and the God that is serving. Media team, when you are there, please put the documentary for us because of time. Australian of Celebration Church was founded by Prophet Zimbi Mama on the year 2016 and later it was officially registered on 2017. The ministry has been under Prophet Zimbi Mama and throughout the years it was growing and it broadened up under the leadership of Prophet Zimbi Mama. The Prophet of God continued with the work of God, doing his calling, touching lives and transforming lives. Through God, he continued working to where the finger of God directed him. He even touched lives by opening his heart and giving to the community. During his journey of God's encounter, he struggled and never backslided on his calling. Later then, his ministry expanded and eventually he had many followers who submitted under him. At that point, he started to have branches under GTS ministry. This is how the life of Prophet Sidney Mbangwa began as a prophet of God and how God showed him in ministry, a journey of God's encounter with Prophet Sidney Mbangwa. small village 
very, very small village in the north, just close the border. Uh, we, I was born in this month, uh, August. Oh my God. This was a day whereby um, the prophet was born. Uh, and we want to thank God uh, because uh, in those days, uh, things were not easy. And I want to say I thank God and thank God for this day and thank God for this movement and that the rain to be out until today. Always uh, my journey as a man of God, my journey as a man of God, uh, baby then, uh, if I may to remember very well, uh, even for my birth. Just shows uh, there was something uh, in this man. Uh, it was show that there was something uh, in him. Uh, because as you hear from the uh, background of the parents, you hear, hear from the when my mom was carrying me from the uh, home, there were some things which were happening. Uh, even the birth of the prophet. There were some things that took place there. It was really showing. And until I was uh, born, and as I was a child going to school, there were some difficulties and some things I was facing, some challenges there and there. And that's when I began to see as well that God was talking to me somehow, but as a child, you cannot figure out exactly uh, what God is really trying to say to you as a child. But that's when I started to figure out exactly that there is something inside me. Um, especially when you are still young, there are things you are seeing, but you cannot really, really, really uh, tell what is it that you are seeing. But uh, as you'll be seeing that, you know, here God wants to tell me this and this and this and this, but as a young child, you cannot really see. So I may say this is what I was born with. Um, and as you grow up, that's when you start growing slowly, slowly. The prophet's calling wasn't any other calling of God. With his, it was a true special calling of God that happened in his mother's womb for nine months. There were signs that were discovered about what he might be while he was still in his mother's womb. Until the prophet was born, he grew up and started to realize that there is something very special about him, the calling of God he was born with. And during that time, the prophet faced many difficulties in trying to understand what is it that God is trying to tell him, or what is it that God is trying to reveal on him, the calling of being a prophet. One of the church elders who knew the prophet from a long time back, she knew him as a child of God, of which she witnessed everything on how God used the man of God. You will find that uh, by then, those days, um, if you look into this, uh, uh, the uh, evangelical uh, ministry, uh, which are in this as prophetic ministry, uh, back then, they were not that much, much, much um, uh, known by many people. So it was a strange thing to them uh, as I was growing, the things I was facing, uh, these challenges I was going through, uh, these uh, stories up and down, this and that, things happening, strange things happening. To them, it was so strange uh, questioning themselves uh, without getting any answer from anywhere. So it was a concern. It was a concern looking the fact that when I was going for a school, uh, for example, uh, I grew up with uh, Pastor Brown, uh, who is my brother. Uh, he's a very person who took care of me most of the time. Uh, from school, you find that uh, when we were there at school, I was attending school sometimes from the morning. Later on, I just disappeared from the school. I went somewhere. Uh, he will, sometimes he will follow me. Sometimes he will follow me to the bush. He will find me there to the bush. 
Sometimes you will find it in the mountain, and uh, even at the, with the him, it was not a good with him because he was not attending the school very well. I remember vividly clear when we were still young at school. Uh, by the way, I'm his uh, elder brother, so it wasn't an easy one because I had to look after him. Because, you know, when we have a calling, and back in the days, people never knew a calling, what is a calling. They never even knew if whatever was happening to him wasn't sicknesses or, or madness. <laughs> Uh, from the mountain, we will no longer go back to school. We will be now going to go home. Uh, of which it was, a, it was a challenge to give a concern to a parent as well. What is happening with my child? What is really happening around my child? This and that. Uh, because they will be feeling sometimes I will go forever and never come back home again. So these are the things that were, it was giving them a challenge as well. Uh, even me, it will be giving me a challenge. Uh, you see, most of the time it will be making me as if now I'm becoming even a more naughty boy. Uh, it was really a challenge to them as a parent. And, uh, uh, and God revealed it to them as time goes on, they now started getting glow. What is happening with this child? This and that sometime. Uh, when now it will be coming to the things where I'll be talking, telling them these things. Sometimes it depends to come things to come and those things will be coming to, uh, to pass. That's when they started to say, no, um, we are now able to see what is going on here. We are able to say, uh, God is trying to do this and this and this with him. Yes. God always used me to be on, 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 on the washout, let me say. And uh, I remember at school sometimes he would sneak out go wherever he goes and I'll follow him and find him, pick him up and bring him back to school or sometimes take him home. So in short, I was always beaten at school because only I understood what was going on. It hasn't been an easy journey for Prophet Sini Mbanga encountering many challenges especially when it came to his education because his spiritual life by that time he needed his attention, God wanting to use him. His brother, Prisip Ron, was the only one who understood what was happening with the man of God and he always stood by his side supporting him. I had a vision as well, like uh, every parent when you grow your child, uh, you see, uh, every parent has got expectation from the child especially, you know, uh, taking him to school, They'll be behaving when our child grows. Um, our child will have these and accomplish these and this. And even I personally, uh, I didn't have that much, 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 much um, into spiritual things. I knew, uh, yes, God is going to use me if you be using me. But I had dreams that. Um, uh, I want to achieve this as a man as well. I want to go to do this and this and this. I want to work a very big job, this and that. Um, of which, uh, most of the time, <clears throat> when we do uh, with these things like your uh, visions, sometimes we forget to involve God. But by that time, I grew up fearing God. I grew up fearing God. Um, most of the time, uh, it was rare for me to play mostly with my age mates. Uh, I had that mind already, which was already mature at a, at a young age. I feared God uh, mostly, and uh, coming to uh, uh, calling of, of God, to answer the call of God, to start doing all what is happening now. I really tried to run away from God calling. I really tried <clears throat> to run away from God calling to an extent that uh, I, I even went to do uh, training. I was doing physical training, uh, bodybuilding. I was a bodybuilder. I was a bodybuilder. Uh, I was building muscles 
and especially when now the spiritual things was coming so uh, deep to me, I would feel like let me go and relieve myself in the gym room. So I would go there to the gym room sometimes, I go in the morning, come in the evening, sometimes in the evening, I come on me the night. So to an extent that I became a huge person. I became a huge person with muscles, I was going to competitions, this and that. And to me, I was like, ah, if I'm with guys out there, uh, I'm running away from this voice I'm hearing, I'm running away from uh, all this that I'm, I'm hearing, uh, let me go out there and do this until I ended up as a man who was going for competition in the uh, gym things, there's a, there's a bodybuilding, there's a that and that. God proved to me that um, I've called you. Prophet Sidney is somebody who loved, um, especially education. I love the education, and um, until to date. I'm still somebody who loves, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, learning most of, most of the time. Uh, of which uh, there are some. I carry a master in one of the uh, spiritual career, and uh, and I will be going for another one. And recently, I got uh, uh, I got uh, uh, another certificate. Uh, which I graduated recently in one of the universities uh, and I'm hoping uh, this uh, year I'll be going for another uh, course of which I'll be doing um, my another master in other uh, uh, in my this one it will be my degree because I have a diploma for that I'll be going for my degree uh, for other management and leadership and uh, uh, other things that can take people uh, to another level. So uh, going back to combination of my spiritual life and my, my work life, um, it was very, to me, I might say it was not a difficult thing uh, because I was working back then to the institution that maybe I cannot disclose, disclose for now. I was working for another institution and I would work uh, because I was working early in the morning, uh, roughly six sometime, seven sometime in the morning. And the challenges that I was facing as a man of God, I would wake up sometime around 12 p.m. And God will speak to me sometime. I'll be sent for prayer around me sometime. I'll just go out as a voice, as a voice has spoken to me. I'll go maybe any morning and I'll be there in the prayers. And as I'll be there in the prayers, uh, now uh, is the time I must now combine my work and the things of God, trying to balance all of them. And sometimes it will be really, really, really. Uh, you know, giving me a very hard time. And but what was surprising me, the energy I had. Uh, I would maybe sometimes go out for my prayers and come back early in the morning. And as I arrive in the morning, I will not go back to bed. I will straight away go to take my shower and uh, go straight to uh, work. But what was surprising me, at the work place there, the energy will be higher until I'm off and uh, coming back home. Uh, so I did that for years. I did that for, 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 for years. And I remember when now God spoke, because when God spoke about this ministry, uh, God fell on Salvation Church. He spoke away to me in 2004, and I heard it very well. Um, and at that time, I thought maybe God would say now, go and carry on with the ministry by the voice did not come to say go and take to a ministry it just came as a voice telling me the upcoming thing and including with this name i remember 
when I wrote it down, when I noted it down, I wrote it down and that is a board is from uh, that time it was not finishing as a salvation church. It was just coming as a God throne salvation. I didn't know if it's a church or what, but it was a God throne salvation. And I would want it down. And I continued. I continued, I continued. By that time I saw the child, I saw young, not yet mature. Uh, gear number 30 was not involved much. Uh, so I would just uh, do that. And I carried on, carried on with my career, carried on with my career, going to work coming back, going to work, coming back. Now, when now, I, I remember when I went out for prayers, that was three months. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord took me for prayers that was uh, uh, out uh, to the mountain. Uh, that was in 2009. In 2009, um, I remember when I was telling my wife that I heard God talking, God said I must go out uh, for a prayer, of which I went out for a prayer. When I was there, God showed me the whole vision, uh, what he's going to do uh, in, in life. And he, he, God showed me everything, how it will start and how it will go. And I waited with God, I waited. talking about waiting upon the Lord. Uh, that was very, is a very, very interesting thing. As I waited upon the Lord in the year 2009, when God started talking to me, uh, and in 2015, uh, the same voice came, uh, that it was now when it came to clarify to me that what has been shown all these years, uh, what has been looking as if uh, it was tormenting me or giving me a problem. God specifically was trying to show to me that he has given a ministry to me. That is a ministry, that is a church. And, uh, it now became clear. I Really, Deliver <laughs> The <laughs> Abaya <laughs> Kubo <laughs> 
Where I'm standing behind this tree, that's where our ministry first started, where our prophet was shown in a dream that there's a certain tree where he's going to start his ministry at. And as we reached there, indeed the Spirit of the Lord just came and said, this is the tree I was showing you about. So you are going to start now. I didn't go back that time and say, I've seen the tree, it's here. So let me go back home and start, uh, I will see, uh, when I come, I will see uh, when to start and how to start. And indeed, uh, as I did that, uh, I definitely started right under that tree with my wife. We started giving a, a prayer on that day. We started giving a prayer on that day under that tree. And the voice of God came so speedily. The voice of God came so, so, so speedily when we were there, so loudly and clear. So we prayed there and God said, I'm going to do you here. And we are going to preach under this tree. And we are going to have more followers in this um, tree. And indeed, that's where the ministry started in that tree. Nerata <laughs> As we started under that tree, um, I began with my wife and my two, there were two by then, uh, my daughter and my son. Uh, we're praying for, and uh, I remember the following week, we were joined by Tato, and uh, we were joined by my Mamulelewa, and later on, uh, we were joined by my Mr. and Mrs. Babadi, and their sons and the kids. They were there, I remember, uh, Salo was one of these people who joined us there, uh, that was our uh, First, 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 first month. Then later in the third month, we were joined by uh, Chukulolo, and uh, we were joined by other, uh, some I don't remember now, but uh, I remember then Chukulolo was one of the people who joined in the third, third month when we were still uh, under the street. Oh, yes. Um, and everything according to how we were moving to this place, to this place, according to how God was revealing things to us. And uh, as much as now we're now growing, uh, hearing what God was saying, uh, then move to the village. This is the second place where our ministry moved from the tree to this place. And this was our overflow. 
where we used to have many people can't speak here. We used to have our overflow here. We are there in the village. Now the Nama is the increase of people. The Nama, by changing environment, as God has spoken, the number of people becoming increasing, increasing, almost the day uh, of which as well, uh, you know, as we are in the village, uh, it's not a place of worship. Uh, you see, uh, we started having a challenge of uh, how people, they come, we started having a challenge uh, of parking, of uh, car parking, of which cars are now flooding everywhere in the uh, middle of the village. Uh, but it's still God is still with us. Uh, we really, really became so uh, successful as well uh, in that uh, place as well. And we thank God for everything. It was not an easy journey with the prophet of God, but the ambassador kept on pushing winning souls and transforming lives. From the tree to the yard, he continued with his calling, and his ministry was growing as God was always by his side, leading him to the right direction, to where he is right now. In 2014, uh, when I was in my prayers, uh, when I was now deep into my, my prayers, uh, and if I to remember that, uh, that year, if I remember very well, uh, there is a man that God showed me uh, in my uh, in my prayers. There is a man that God has showed me, uh, and proud God showed me this man into in my vision, and I didn't know him by that time. I didn't know him. Uh, I remember, I remember very well uh, in my vision. God showed me a man of a witch uh, when now it revealed uh, to me in my in my vision. Uh, and that man it happened to be Mejawan, uh, prophet, uh, shepherd. Uh, God showed me that man. And uh, I was very confused what is really happening uh, in, that, in that time. And that's when I saw that man uh, blessing me uh, in that vision, uh, blessing me and anointing me in that uh, vision. And I came to understand uh, later on what was the meaning. And that's the time I started following, uh, following that man. I started following that man and I didn't know him. I never met him before. And I started following him, following and following and following. And it now came to me like, that man uh, is there, he, he, he will mentor you. That man is there with you. I started just following, just followed um, as we were about to register the ministry. That was uh, two years before uh, we went to a ministry. Uh, I followed that man, I followed the Joan, uh, I followed him deeply in my heart. And I loved him as God showed me that man, I deeply believed in love. With the prophet, when I, when I and that's when in 2015, 2015, God spoke a word to me. That you see the word I showed you in 2004, 2009, God throne, God throne, God throne. That's when now uh, it came to me that this was what God was meaning. It's a ministry, and God said, in from here, go and establish my church, which would be a God throne. And what surprised me uh, in 2016, uh, that's when now uh, God said, establish my ministry, establish my ministry, God throne. Uh, we went down with the 10 people, uh, 10 committee people who were there at that time. Uh, we went on, they went on, I was not part of them because uh, for legal issues, uh, as a founder, you are not supposed to be there when the registration has been done. So there were the one doing the <coughs> registration. Um, we, we got registered and they denominated the name which was right down, which was God Throne Salvation Church, as God has spoken before that is name. And uh, as we did that, before that, as I was talking about encountering a man, that of which uh, in 2016, I went, I encountered with Mejawan, I encountered with 
encounter with the Major One. He didn't know me, and I didn't know him. I went in there to attend the service, of which the service I attended it. I was in the miracle program. And to my heart, I was very happy. I was seeing the man that I saw in the vision, and I was seeing him in the television uh, where I am seated in the miracle program. And I really fell in love with the Spirit of God, visited me in the tent, and His grace touched me uh, spiritually when I was in the tent. And the journey uh, of our ministry began. And now, by then and now, uh, everything went well. You know, I was now mature, a man of his own house, uh, you know, a man of his um, wisdom. That year in 2016, uh, of which it got um, registered um, uh, in 2017, uh, that was in September. Uh, September, it, it got registered uh, in 2017. Uh, then we started operating, you know, submitting under Major War. Uh, it really, really impacted a lot in my life. You know, having somebody who rebukes you, having somebody who guides you, uh, somebody who equip you, you know, uh, it's very, very, very important, very much. Uh, being a son of Major One, being mentored by Major One, uh, it really impacted my life, it changed my life, you know, uh, being a, a man of God with a direction is very, very important. To where we are now, uh, where God has taken us, uh, where God has brought us from, uh, from, as we heard from that small, from that tree under there, moving to another place in the village and to our current place now, where we are now. Uh, you know, uh, I've seen God raising uh, in my presence uh, great sons and daughters, uh, pastors, uh, quite many, uh, many of our pastors right now. Uh, and from that uh, stage until now, uh, God has given us about uh, five or six branches now, if I'm not mistaken, and quite a number of cell branches, cell groups out there. And you can see that indeed the hand of God, if it is there with you, if God has spoken away, uh, nothing becomes impossible with Him. We've got the great uh, branches now, uh, doing very well. Hope on the Joanne, Sojo, and the Kanye, and our main branch here, and so many, many uh, branches. Uh, and we have seen, uh, we have impacted the sons and daughters outside the country, uh, globally. Uh, we have, uh, and recent now, uh, we are establishing, uh, we'll be into another establishment of taking the ministry outside, of which we have uh, sons and daughters outside again, who will be doing some cell branches outside, and establishing branches outside the country. And this is a great achievement that uh, God has uh, given to us. As you can see now, we are now able to televise, uh, doing all these great things, and uh, we, are, uh, uh, we are now uh, growing as a ministry. And by the help of God and the grace of my father, Joan, everything shall work accordingly to how God has planned it. And uh, we are believing God to take over and to take uh, the Jesus nation, uh, the, to make Jesus famous and to impact the word of God every corner of this world. And you see as all branches, are, they, they are still grooming quick and so speedy and we thank God. As you have heard uh, about the journey of our ministry, God's Throne Salvation Church, uh, our vision and our mission is not yet accomplished. We are still going very, very far. And this ministry, as you heard, where it's coming from and where it is going, we are going very far. And God is still going to do wonders in our ministry. And I want to say, I welcome you all in God's throne, Salvation Church, a prophetic ministry, a prophetic church, a church uh, of love, 
uh, a church. We welcome you in our ministry uh, and uh, we welcome you and to our home, uh, which is God Throne Salvation Church. And once again, I welcome you into our fifth anniversary. Celebrate God together. Celebrate God where we are coming from and celebrating our victory where we are still going as a, as a church, in a prophetic church. Thank you very much. We want to say to you, have a blessed, blessed day and a wonderful day today as we welcome and celebrate happy fifth anniversary uh, with the prophet of God, the ambassador. This is GTS Ministry. Bless you all. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. I, I wish uh, God's throne of salvation a yes. happy anniversary. Okay. Okay. May God lift them. May God protect Jesus. them. May God continue elevating our prophet, our father, the ambassador. Jesus, media team. Amen. Please help us sing the songs of glory. And I will dance the songs of glory. Finally, what I can say, uh, happy birthday, my brother. Happy birthday. May God bless you. May God really take you high. Even to places you never thought you can go. May God take you high. And to GTS, happy fifth anniversary. May GTS, GTS Church fly with flying colors. May God always remember GTS. And everyone who will enter GTS will never go back and say, Thank you so much. Bless you. Because of time, hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Jesus. Wow. I believe you heard from your father, the man in the house of God's throne of salvation church. The man that God is using mightily in our midst. I remember I was staying with the brother, uh, Pastor Brown, when we were staying together in South Africa there. We came back from South Africa. And many people, they thought people were from outside. When they come back, they will be, you know, great, looking very beautiful. But when we enter this country, when you look at us, we're like Boko Haram. I'm not going to lie you to you, people of God. Yes. But Vaselina Naisao, you know, you understand. Hey. I'm like this today. Yes. Because of him. Yes. 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 Celebrate the apostle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know my brother is my witness. Hallelujah. You know, the grace in this place has taken us from somewhere. Many of us here, they know what I'm talking about. Some of us, we had only one belt. One. Hallelujah. But now, we are shining like this. Because of the grace upon him. Let us celebrate this Christ today. Please, please give me just two minutes. I'm about to leave. Hallelujah. Our ministry has grown. Our father has mentored sons. As we, he has mentioned on the documentary, we have branches that are outside there. Hallelujah. We, have, we started with Suja branch. Unfortunately, our pastor, they could not ma manage to come today because of an emergency. They were supposed to be here today. They apologize for that. Hallelujah. We have a suja branch and we have Ote also. Hallelujah. And it's growing very, very well. Those are cell groups also. Hallelujah. That are still working under suja branch. Hallelujah. We also have joining branch 
which is being mentored by our father himself. I, I believe people from joining they are here. Wow, you, you can see. Hallelujah. Maybe I can, uh, the chairman or Matuel, just quickly and quick update from from joining branch. Just a second to tell us the growth that they are seeing in the branch. Maybe you, Matuel, I believe you are from that side. Just let us know what is happening in joining so that people know there is a joining branch. Hallelujah. A hallelujah, people of God. A hallelujah. Can you clap hands for God? Clap your hands for what God is doing in God's throne of salvation church. Hallelujah. At Joanne Branch, Bahaitu and Exeziki Bile, Ki Boranchio, Toko Mai, Gohona Lete Maniti, Komudimara Sawa Hadisente, Koma Hau Wamudimo or Berekalante, Hallelujah, Kutila Apostle Moyo Arahato of South Africa, Alebeha Kaleboko Ham, Bangobar Nasatan on our tapis, the Dejuetari, Satan Waba, or in Akutsi, Hallelujah. Mere ha kalebaka alama hau omudimo arwa pesenka onya hallelujah. Joanne branch ke branchi jo bukola ntata katela e ha kamata ang. Jaka apostle moyo asesa abuilo. The sons are men teru ake raro na. The prophet Sidney Mbangwa and our mother Prophet Tess Mbangwa hallelujah. Hallelujah. Me di palozar na di ahola. Simose branch jo ka twenty nine. October. Me mo bokumpi eno reseta rena le har oba melanting. Kati palo te di hola nja kali ito rena rena le se kaja ja sa COVID ho hunga hali. Ora kuri di palo zar na ne di hola kabunya kabunya. Me na raharis na huite mohela moharo oyakota si di palo zar na ta hola hela thata. Hallelujah. Me. Yaka apostola seta abuile. Frana li executive yar na seti supilwe. Frana li congregation ni. Haka raka rona ha. Kita akur bangu ba bwene bante komora ho. Wave your hand if you are from Joanne Branch. Wave your hand people of God. Oh, they are all sitting on the left side. Hallelujah. Mirele boka mudimu tata kase mudimu asitirang. Kabo tilo jaka profete ili ma profete. Hallelujah. Reza hor mana kau ing etang, karena kira mana kau ingya humpi eno. Rencer tu lese rahola, rencer tu lese rahola. Reabona hararona, ala lady tu bang waba iteliji pele badi kira kita di harulahani. Yetar mana kau ing e sahedi sempelo, rebore luncha joanim branch. Hallelujah. Miki tu mela, ha potadi bo raso kamo. Bo muruti pizwe, bo prophet papadi, leba bangwe hela jalo, pata bo balite, kota kora kota za haleluya. Miri arela arela leta kusanza kona le naako, kora tangu leta ngubina lo rona, leta hob mela mudi mo lo rona, kana ko era rona atai beka, mo na ko inge ta bo inisa hedi sepe lo haleluya. Thank you. Somebody celebrate joining brunch. <laughs> Hallelujah. We also have Wukunzi branch. <laughs> Hallelujah. Which is led by Apostle. I will kindly ask Apostle just to quickly come forward so that people may know you. Let us know what is taking place there, men of God, how the ambassador has affected your, your ministry that side as you are leading the ministry in, in Hukutsi branch of God's throne of Salvation Church. Wow. Uh, let me take this time uh, uh, to honor the grace of my father and my mother and say a happy birthday and a happy birthday. Happy the fifth anniversary. Wow. It's so much great. 
how we are growing, how we are making it. Hallelujah. Even to, to reach to the farthest places, uh, uh, the desert. Hallelujah. It's a, it's a great thing for, for this grace to have reached that far place. Hallelujah. And uh, wow. Hallelujah. Uh, my name is Apostle Kizo Harikawe, uh, the resident pastor from Hukunsi. Uh, I don't know how to take much time. Hallelujah. Wow. If you are sitting next to someone who is elder than you, Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. Amen. As I honor and honor all everyone in this place. Hallelujah. Wow. Let me uh, take this time to, uh, to say that uh, in December uh, last year, I was with my brother, Prophet Babadi my covenant brother hallelujah and when we started this uh, this ministry and uh, by that time by that time uh, we were not yet with a papa hallelujah but as we as young men as we were praying and hallelujah having the vision to go around uh, Botswana and uh, preaching the gospel, we came to know that we need the grace. We need the grace. We need a father who can uh, teach us, who can uh, guide us, and who can uh, lead us. Hallelujah. And, uh, you know, I, I will not also uh, stop to, to talk about the grace of our brother, a wise man, Kawani. Uh, that by him we managed to, to meet the grace that now is at work in our life and is working amazingly. Hallelujah. I'm with the, uh, the daughters and the sons from Hukunti branch, uh, the pastors, the executive committee, uh, the wise ladies. Hallelujah. And I believe in next time we'll be coming uh, with the many because we are we are many there. The branch is so growing amazingly. Uh, since we met Papa, it is amazing. And the ministry is affecting Hukuns and the surrounding areas. Hallelujah. Wow. The settlement and the districts that are next to the street. Hallelujah. Wow. And now, we are also waiting uh, to launch the branch. Hallelujah. And, uh, and I believe we'll be having a great support from this, uh, this side, from the main branch and all the other branches. Hallelujah. Wow. You know, I really honor the grace of my father and mama. It's a, it's a great grace. Hallelujah. Wow. We are so humble. We are so humble together on behalf of all who can see and all the surrounding places we are very humble to be under this grace uh, that is an international grace not only local but a very big i want to say papa we love you as a who can see and all the people in there we love you and with the mama we are so humble to have you in our life equipping us always with the word of god when we don't have money to come we have our social media platform that we watch and we are being equipped every time. Wow. May God keep you, Papa, for us and increase you even the more with the mama and to keep on changing our lives and affecting us. Hallelujah. I want to say happy and happy birthday. Celebrate Jesus in this place. We, we, we also have... Uh, Apostle Oratile Mapo from Kanye Branch. Hallelujah. Yes, Kanye is still, we just recently launched Kanye Branch. Hallelujah. It is still a work in the, pro in the process. Hallelujah. So just for you to know him, I would like the man of God also to just rise up quickly. 
and come and greet you. But the ministry there is still a work in the process. Hallelujah. And we are believing God, the grace that is in this place is going to uplift him. Apostle Mabo, please come and greet us. take this time to recognize the presence of my father, Prophet Signy. Uh, I will not talk much. Allow me to say this. I thank the Lord for him. Together with our mother in the house. You know, ever since God Prophet Remember, it is by the year 2019 for one on one service. Hallelujah. I was here just one on one service. Then I, I saw him. Hallelujah. By that time, I was in a certain church. The church of Prophet Shepard Bushiri. Hallelujah. ECG. Then I begin to love Prophet. Ever since I met him, my life has changed. Hallelujah. You know, let me tell you something. Even we are still growing in, in, there in Kanye. We are not yet there. But I believe the great prophet. It will take us far. Let me tell you something. Ministry is not an journey. You may think that you are struggling, you are, there's a heart but because of the grace of this man I, I still believe hallelujah that we are going far all together I still believe that we are going far and I, 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 I conclude we need your support hallelujah if you are staying there in yeah, Come and fellowship with us. The grace of our Father is available. That's sad. Hallelujah. I believe I have said it all. Happy birthday, my Father. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, thank you, man of God. God bless you. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Because of time, I'll. I would like to call upon wise man Favor Stanley. He is one of the sons of the Amsada, but he has his own ministry in Mabutsane. Just for him to let you know how the grace of this place has affected his ministry. I just welcome him. Just a quick welcome so that you know him also is a son of the Amsada. Because of time, I'll try to be short. Let me remind the grace of my, my mentor, son of Jawan, a man of God. We love you, and I love you. And I want to say something, how I met him. I met the ambassador through my wife. Uh, they went to fellowship there. And the family. How about one thing? Because at that time, I was going through a storm. 
So I ended up closing a door to, to many men of God. And hallelujah. So I closed that door and then I was just there. Follow it. Hallelujah. It invest. It located in me. Just in journey. Because of journey again. Celebrate journey, Saba. Now, here, it was not about ministry. It was me and my wife. My beautiful wife. Hallelujah. Yeah. It was only situation. We had a, a connection in India. <laughs> so any business that we were planning to do. So it was only me and my wife. So he passed me and came back again. He passed me. And he said, Sir, I'm seeing a connection. And I didn't know the name of where that person was. But he called the name of the place in India. After I gained some time. So that, I hate that. That is the whole thing. To make sure I was, I didn't know him. Like some tempe, some yeti, he lands like him more. So I did. I was not allowing it. Oh, I make sure he. Then physically, I don't become spiritual. Because it is more. Passed again. The following, a second encounter. So last because on February it was February we in a prayer uh, with my wife. The God spoke. So God spoke to us. Gave a name and she was. Momolale waro. So when we came now, we talk about Panali. We keep on feeling. Ella is Sunday. Ella. You to a lazy kid. I can't stand him. We go. Passed again. Secondly, passed again. No, what's it to? It was only me and my wife. And about head. So now. The, uh, that encounter you enter, you need to read your word. There is someone here. It's one, one now. Uh, I don't know. Because spirits, any spirits are married to. Kuri lebat wa nerelebo. Even our parents, the parents of my wife, my my elo, they didn't know. Let rotle muntu inwa. So after that, the second encounter, ya no haki ya ya no ya. There is when I went there, conviction. Was, conviction. Um, now, when he that, that's when he located a uh, ministry to me. So, after he located, uh, we had three two encounters. Two after he located, I was making a decision. To attend my intention, there, my wife goes back to school and I come to Abroni. I hustle. I fellowship as I can try. So, I, now here. He, he, when he encountered me, after he prophesied me, he I called me, he anointed me, and said, I'm going to be on your neck. I'm going to be on your neck. Laboraru yano. The third time. But I'm not going to be here. 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 Because now, I'm not going to be here. Then he released the grace. Because now you are on the Renali prayer. Can I can only pray about ten hell about Tobaya for a bell, Ria for a bell with Marcelat? So I'm telling you, I met the the terminator by the grace of the ambassador. A lot, a lot has a yes, there is the testimony that is where you with Marcelat. He came to my. A lot. A lot. What? God is doing great. Labo hello The last time. I have been with many sons of Mejawa. Who were mentally teaching me. 
this kind I've never seen. Kuru, I'm telling you, even God is my witness. The love. God, I've seen the duplicate of Mishawan in the ambassador. I'm telling you the truth. Lirato singwe, li singwe. And above it all, the humility. The humility. It shocks me. Love hell. I'm telling you. I closed the door. But the conviction that God did come not through this man. I don't know. With, I have grown mysterious. Each and every day, I encounter God in different ways. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. for Jesus. Master of ceremony, you will forgive us. Apostle Moyo. They are going to forgive me. You see, they are going to kill me. Please forgive me. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah, people of God. Hallelujah. The prophetess, the queen ma, the most beautiful woman in the whole world. Marona. The ambassador of nations, our prophet in the house, our voice, daddy dearest, we love you, our parents. Vusi um, Brown. Because there's no one like our Father. There's no one like Jesus. Hallelujah. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 6 says, Lord, there's no one like you. For you are great and your name is full of power. Hallelujah. And when you read verse 7, it says, Who would not fear you, O King of nations? Let me not go on and on with it. Let me honor the grace of my parents, the great that is working mysteriously in this house, the grace that all of us are gathered here this morning to look up upon it. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. My name is Vusi Brown Bangwa. I so happen to be the brother to prophet and my prophetess. <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, it seems like I'm going to do a small job, but the job that I'm going to speak about right now <laughs> is not small. <laughs> it's big. <laughs> because um, it's like I'm a sellout. <laughs> Being a sellout, like I'm going to say, the life of my father how he came to be. Um, our grandmother's name is Kilebukile Piri. And our grandfather is Joseph Chitunga Piri. 
Originally from Malawi. Um, so our mother's name is Basinyi Mbangwa. And our father's name is Brown Mbangwa. Who is standing in front of you? <laughs> we are 11 siblings from our mother. Of which we lost one sister. She was privileged to go before us. To leave us five men, five women. And this is the last one. Good people, I'm not going to take uh, much of your time. I'll just say one or two things so that you understand who is your father. Some of you don't understand, maybe. I am the elder brother of prophet. But I am the youngest brother of prophet. I don't know if you understand. I, am, I was privileged to biologically come first. But he is my father. I just, I just want to make it clear that he is my father. When we were growing up, it wasn't an easy one. And I, I really praise God today standing in front of you that God used me unknowingly but most were the time where God used me. When prophet was growing up he was a very intelligent person. Very intelligent young man from primary level in which he was disturbed a lot. I remember when we were still in primary level he would sneak out from school and nobody would know where he went. But by the grace of God our sneak out of God because uh, I already knew <laughs> his <laughs> lifestyle. I will sneak out of school <laughs> to search for him. <laughs> and it's either I find him by the mountain <laughs> just by the forest. <laughs> now we made it a point that okay fine because <laughs> we're still <laughs> kids <laughs> then. I remember one day uh, uh, because I'm the one who was like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm the one who was like, uh, I'm crazy. <laughs> People of God, I don't know how many of you have brothers. How many of you have your siblings? I don't know. I, I'm privileged to have a brother who never fought with me. A brother who never said anything to me. I don't know who is privileged enough. I remember one day I said to him, my brother, you know you love the forest so much. How about me, I'll make it a point that we still young, remember? I'll make it a point that every time you go to the forest, I'll kill a goat for you. <laughs> By the way, I don't even have a goat. I mean people's goats. <laughs> and 
It's not a joke, it's truth. It's the truth. I, <laughs> you know the story. I remember one day we <laughs> caught one goat. Yeah. And we showed it the story. <laughs> but it was it was taking long for this skin to come out. Because, because we are interested on the liver. And those things inside. And we didn't have knives. So I the mastermind I had to mastermind how can we do this fast fast. So I find a bottle. Then we started the journey. So we are not so lucky though. Uh, the owner of the gold courthouse. <laughs> We've never been beaten, eh? You've never been beaten before. That person beat us to the core. And me, the mastermind, that I, I said, let's kill a goat. I was beaten even more. <laughs> because he was fast at school. He was running, eh? Yeah, he was. Every time when he said to you, Lift up your hand, let me pray for your legs to have speed. Please, he mean it, because this guy, <laughs> he could run. He could run. So the owner of the goat caught me up. I had to cry there and cry and cry. And cry. So, all in all, what I can say, people, we had a very nasty background where witchcraft you could see it with your eyes there was a time my brother was chased by too many unseen uh, objects or creatures all of my siblings could not see it but I could see it and I chased after him and I got him there was a time as he was running he got injured on his leg he got injured on his leg and I had to carry him home. It wasn't an easy one. The last uh, scenario that I can, uh, I can say before I eat a lot of time. We were by our cousin's house. Uh, Stanley Chosan, I think more, most of you know him. So what happened? It was early in the morning we were going to school. So we passed it was raining. We just we were just by the living room. So we were carrying our books on those plastic. bags. Yeah, those that, that was a great bag back then. Yes. For carrying books to school. Yeah, if you take my test, I'll kill you. So we're just sitting by the living room. All of a sudden, I don't know what, because I was somewhere far from, we were three, by the, by the way. One of our friends, him and me. So from nowhere, something made me to call him from where he was sitting. So he rose up from where he was sitting. Before he even reached me, there was a very big object that came like fire. I know some, to some of you, I'm, it's like I'm mentioning Nigerian stories. But this is reality. That big ball, I think of 
80 or 100 radio. That thing came and hit on top of the table where the books and everything was. And when that scenario had gone, we noticed his books were missing. The, in fact, the whole bag. That's when I started to be on the lookout and watch over my young brother. At school, you touch him, I'll kill you. You do anything, I'll kill you. Sorry to say this. Even in the Bible, they would say the same. That, that Joshua was assigned to go kill. Yeah, also God assigned me. If you touch my brother, I kill you. It wasn't easy, people of God. It wasn't easy at all. Uh, I started noticing some strange things. Because of him, I suffered a lot. I suffered a lot. Uh, being a protocol is not easy. Uh, chief protocol. I started protocoling when I was at primary school. Without even knowing I'm protocoling. <laughs> I started experiencing some funny and strange uh, visions. I remember one night I was sleeping. The very same thing that was chasing him visited me. When it came to me, it said, raise up, let's go. It was like, I'm not seeing myself. Like, I don't even know what's going on. People of God, that thing walked with me. It walked with me. We walked the whole night. We walked. I didn't, I didn't even know <laughs> where I was, whatever. But we walked. So the only th words I still remember it was, you think you are clever. You go, they will never find you. Then I quickly realized this is the thing that was chasing my brother. So it went on until in the morning when they found me. So that shows I walked the whole night. <laughs> yeah, that thing was teaching me how to walk. So I walked and sustained injuries on my leg. Sorry, because of time you would see. I would sleep, wake up next to a snake. All because of my brother. I know many of you, you don't know what I'm saying. I'm trying to say that when indeed my brother, God called him. The devil also knew about the secret. Because it's a secret when God calls a man. And it's only that man who is called and God who knows this secret. It will be revealed on the open when now GTS is formed. Prior GTS formed, you will never know about this secret. Hallelujah. So it so happened. I, I started feeling funny, funny things. I'll be close to a friend. Next thing, my friend is dead. I'll be close to this one. The next thing, my friend hanged himself. The only friend who survived this uh, Apostle Moyo. <laughs> so that's the lonely life that we, we me and my brother, we, we, we suffered. And We've been close for a long time now. We have other siblings. I feel safe with him. I feel safe 
every time because now i don't even approach him anymore i go to my sister she know how troublesome i am i'm really troublesome I don't just take anything for an answer. Oh, you say anything, I won't believe you. My brother got married. That doesn't way back. I can't remember the year. The same God used me again. I'm sorry to say it on air, but some of the things are worth saying so that you understand when the devil is fighting, he is fighting. For them to get married, it wasn't easy. By then, I was married. Now I'm okay. I, uh, I'm still okay. So it wasn't easy. People that we thought they would go on the forefront, I don't but even know. I, I don't even know it was a mirror. We didn't know all these things, traditional things? Yeah. Don't lie, but I don't even giving know all them, these things. Even though I was given them before, but I didn't know them. They begged off. I was left with my sister, two of us, I think, my, our elder sister. And carry on with everything, everything, everything until. So in short, everything that was supposed to be for the two of them it wasn't easy it wasn't easy at all i came back from south africa i had sustained an, an, uh, an injury from the accident actually i had lost my my me <laughs> It wasn't easy. You won't understand every time when I tell you people dance and I'll be like dancing. I'm checking if am I okay. When I came back, there was nowhere else I went. I called my sister. I told, I'm coming. I did not even tell them I have, uh, I'm, I'm bringing a problem home. <laughs> but by the grace of God, they met with me, they picked me. Every day, my sister, my brother, and, 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 and my uncle behind there. They were rubbing my waist like nobody's business. I got healed. You know when you have a broken spine or something? Because I was not working. I was like just two minutes and I sit down. But by the grace that is operating in this house, where healing is like water, where testimonies are like a running stream, I also got a privilege to testify. That was in two weeks. Good people. Our age, all of you, just rise up. And let's do this exercise for our father. And our this one goes to all my our relatives siblings by the way all our parents are gone 
Our mother was somebody who was singing. We would be on class like every day. This is the song that our mother loved to sing so much. And, and we know it's by her singing and prayers that you people are sitting here today. I remember I, there was a time when I was going for a higher level in school. My, my mother said to me, sing this song everywhere you go. Just sing with me in honor of your father and in remembrance of Basinim Bangwa. I know she's rejoicing today. Seeing what is happening. like crazy but still we'll go to him and say oh papa do the same keep telling him you are my father even if he beats you you are my father even if he take you sometimes your father can really be like a stranger my father. don't rebel don't rebel. God say, I had spirit of rebellion. Remember, re remember Lucifer did not physically confess that I'm rebelling against you, God. No. But in his emotions, in his inner man, he rebelled and God could pick it up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Happy birthday, Prophet Sidney Mbago. Happy birthday, Dagababa. I, 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 feel, I, feel, I feel more comfortable when I say it in my language. In our language. Kuzonke is in to. Eguti, slangana na zempilwen. 
ekuthi mhlambe nomuhamba akhona ubona ukuthi langi hamba rongo Oh. Oh. But us a Always look to a prophet. Look to a prophet. The Bible says those they that trust in their fathers who trust in their prophets the prophets that God called not any prophet they shall receive a gift from a prophet the same bible teaches me that if you want to go far go alone but if you want to go extra mile, walk with the prophet. I'm saying it to our, to our people who are then there are those who doesn't know English and so on. <laughs> so I know <laughs> they are watching. Say as ungulungulu pagamiso umfundi swe tu. Kora ya kar mudimu atolete akurisa murutu arona. Kunga ba inga kuye tu ye ba inga ku sikule na e. Tonare ayi tukulele ne. E in. Se chwaye lugu ti umfo we tu. Retwaye tukure. Don't translate. I'm you trying have a small, problem. small, small. You will have a problem. If you are looking for two, if you are looking for one, or 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 if you are Amen. Don't I live on his words of prophecy day after day. I've told myself that I'm not old. I'm younger. So, Kula and Utsong is in Anza. Hopala in Hor Rotter Kadirajan. Chuakuluk as the Gula Baba Zelu and I. Tatka Hahuluk Raya Bone ever to twin lane. Yakela two Kiako Pacatre. I can see Zamutzi Stones Elega Lemova, Sabeni, Sinipisan and Lelen singer. Are licking Horreho Hamo Horescarabara Timana more Omunke. And it's changed and good to see a supportan. Ribbon Sehore, Tota, Retsarahani, Ratusan, Kantukani, Haki Rohan, Angzamutini, Haki Liki Horin, Oxala Yung Yatela, Morosalan Kiakop, Yatela, Kiakop, Yabo. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. 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 My sister TD, you can take over. Hallelujah! Hallelujah, hallelujah! Happy birthday.
Mr. D, we love you so much. We love you, baby. I honor the grace that is working upon this house. My name is Sidney, daughter of the ambassador. We are going to dance a song called Celebrate Jesus. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. So that we can celebrate and dance for him. Hallelujah. Are you there? I want you to dance this song with us. Hallelujah. I want to see you. I want to see you. You see, I'm sure. But I want to see you. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice. I say be glad in it. Let me see her too. Hallelujah. Somebody dance for Jesus. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate. 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 I'm here to recite a poem. I'm a prophetic poet. 
My poem goes like this. A day. A day we have waited for. A day. A day we have prayed for. A day full of grace indeed. <laughs> My God. Five years of mercy. Five years of his loving kindness. He pulled us. He brought us through. It wasn't easy. No. It wasn't easy. Many gave up. Many lost hope. But here we are. Right here. Here we are. Grateful, happy. And safe in the study of his hurt. A day. A day. A day a legend was born. A great man of God. My God. A man who fears God. He is a man. A man of the God's own heart. A man. He is a man. He is my father. He is my father. A man of integrity. A man who pursues wisdom, a man of knowledge, yes, yes, a man of godliness. A man who fears God. Daddy, I'm humbled. I'm humbled, Papa. May God bless the work of your heart. May God bless the work of your heart. May you walk in power, love, and a sound mind. Mami, Maruna. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I greet you all in the name of Jesus. My name is Sister Hazel. I'm the lioness of the prophet. Prophet Sidnimba and my mother. Happy birthday, Daddy. Happy birthday, Daddy. I love you so much. Hallelujah. Are Chu. Ay, bo. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. Ay. Chu. Chu. Ay, bo. Chu. 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 Ay. Chu. Chu. Eh, eh.
And that suit I will give you tomorrow morning in the service. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Amen and amen. But I am the Homo nati mi neke sauti. That's very nice and wonderful. But I di ba mi 
Okay, go by look at the heart. See, you may take your seats. Oh, my God, what a wonderful day! Indeed, for today, let me reference myself in the house of the Lord and my wife and honor the grace of my father Major Wan and thank God for everything and let me recognize our guest uh, our main guest from SSKI the A station commander Mr. Muleke Po Sebaku. May God bless him and may God enlarge his territory for him being with us present in the house of the Lord. It wasn't a coincidence but a divine appointment at a certain date like this one. And let me reference again his bishop, the bishop, Hi, Father. I love him so much. Um, I love him so much. He is so close to my heart. Uh, Bishop Rasokamo and his wonderful, lovely wife. I love you so much, my parents. I love you so much. Oh, my God. I don't think there is nothing that will part ways with us. And the reference my lovely roots friends you know when i say roots friends roots friends mr and mrs babeti oh my god we can talk the whole day and let me reference my bloody for uh, best brother and a friend the Salamist Apostle Vusi Brown. Amen. The person who stood with me day and night. There are so many, many things because of time that he left behind. Amen. Uh, you know, um, we are born uh, 11 and we are 10. I'm hoping our sisters, they might be watching with us on the line and uh, our blood sisters, uh, they are watching with us and they couldn't make it in this day. And we love them so much. And as I continue, let me reference my own associate. My own associate. You know, I know most of the people who don't know him. Celebrate, celebrate, this, celebrate, celebrate our associate. This is a man football built in him. If you know one team called Tafik. Ah, oh my God. <laughs> I, I love it because, you know, in GTS we, GTS we produce, if you, uh, yeah, I see on my side, this side, is uh, Pastor Sakabo Molebat. Those who know him, they know him from Ghana. I don't, I don't think, you, uh, those, uh, how, how many know him? I think from two decent chiefs. Um, Cabron United, and the BMC, and the Gilport Lions, and the Flamingo, Unayo Flyo, something like Unayo Santos. Celebrate Pastor Sekabo in the house, somebody. A legend. Yes. A legend, indeed, I'm telling you. And one legend is my associate, yes. Pastor J.J. Mapete. Jesus. I kawe likam simanga. Oh, o songo. Ngempela. And let me reference as well. 
the owner and the father of this ground we are stepping into. The owner of the village. If there is something that I fear and I humble myself mostly are the chiefs. Not that meaning even I am a prince, but I honor them. I honor the chiefs so much. Jose Mante, we love you for a privilege for allowing us in your village. And may God increase you. And far behind them, a reference, Jose from Ranaka, Mr. Telekelo. May God bless you, Papa, and your lovely wife besides you. May God bless you. And let me reference my brothers. These are my covenant brothers. I'll just speak with them. You know, he said we were meeting time and again. And that is very true. And we became in love to each other. This man is no one other than son of Major One, Pastor Philip Pitre, and her love, this lovely yes. wife. I love them so much, son and the daughter of Major One. May God bless you very much. And they are joined with my lovely brothers as well, oh, sons of Major One and daughters of Major One. Pastor Matlaping and the wife. This is the word of grace. They are with another brother again, Apostle Malungwana from Mankodi branch of Word of Grace. This is a Word of Grace. They are with us in the house. Let me reference my son from Kanye. He is my last born. The Apostle Oracle Mapo. I love you very much. And allow me reference my son, Apostle Kito. All the way from Hokonti. May God bless you very much. And I've got my mentees that are in this table here. I've got my mentees, uh, uh, some of my mentors. Uh, come with the mic this side very quick. I think this is Mahalape and the, and the Sorowe. This is my son's mentoring outside the GPS. Yes. This is a prophet. You'll, you'll see, say his name. My name is humble myself under the anointing of my father. I'm pastor. When the prophet is in the house, be a prophet. And I'm with brother. Um, from their ministries outside. I've got so many, many sons and daughters outside. So many, many of them operating their ministry outside. And let me reference again um, my son um, and the wife from Destiny International Ministry and in, uh, Mabutani. 
uh, upon uh, this wise man Stanley and the wife. May the Lord bless you very much. May the Lord bless you very much and recognize all leaders of all our branches, all our cell branches, uh, Soja branch, uh, Longolo Hana, Longolo, hey, cell branch, some. <laughs> I heard something like that. These are cell groups. This is like uh, somewhere. It might just be Longolohama. And we are having branch. Uh, these are cell groups. Uh, this is a Shoshong. And uh, uh, hey, these names though. But these are my sons. I love them so much. And I want where my mother-in-law she seated. The mother who gave birth. <laughs> to this beautiful, yes. beautiful angel. The mother to the wife of the ambassador. Oh. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate mother in the house. Celebrate our mother in the house. Yes. You know, when I look at her, I see the presence of my mother. The late mom. May her soul rest in peace. When I look to my father-in-law, I see the presence of my uh, biological father, who is also late. May their souls rest in peace. But their words they left with us, they are still in our hearts. They grew us in the love of God. They grew us fearing God. And my mom, which is the reason why I got baptized in 1998. And today I'm standing here turning 24 years. I, I counted them the day I was introduced to Christ. That is why I count my years beginning the day when I received Christ. Amen. Amen. So many things have been spoken. I cannot go back and talk again. But what I want to say is today it is God who released his voice unto me. And that voice did not fall on the ground. And I thank myself to obey his voice. Amen. I remember when the lot of things were happening to me. As you saw all these pictures, whatever that was happening be be before then. Even when I was still, you know, running away, going to the gym rooms, doing this and that. That, that picture you just saw, it was the pictures on the first year when I was beginning my training. The ones, because I was very privileged to introduce people who were coming down, whom I've we have groomed and you are cherishing them today in the social media who are uh, do, doing bodybuilders. And then, when I was running away from the calling, all right, I think in the third year, you know, I thought I'm running away from God calling. I became huge. 
I think I was the first man to pull a truck uh, in the competitions. And it God inspired the so young ones who were coming down. And I, I, I was so impressed because I even saw those chele, they were coming there. And you know, um, when you see people who were there now, they became huge, you'll be like, wow. But me, I, I started it while I was trying to run away from God calling. When his voice was becoming so, you know, uh, big for me, you know, I'll run away. I remember the day when now God said, I was a very big man like this. I was at my in-laws place. The voice came to me. And said, look around, what do you see? I saw many things. And I kept quiet. And God said, you are quiet. I moved out of them to the room. I, I came outside. I was burning. If you haven't seen a person dying so easily, it was me at my in-laws place and I went off they failed to lift me because I was a very huge thing down they called the people to lift me in the car and in the hospital they were likely to say this man is gone and they had already crying. But even when it is necessary, they are saying, ah, ah, I was listening to them. I was communicating with the father. When I was returned, I found them rejoicing. That's now when it went... I started now to say, if I'm running away from my call, let me keep on visiting churches, visiting churches. But what was paining me more, wherever I go, they were saying, we can't touch you. But I was like, I'm having a problem. Why can't this man touch me? We cannot touch you. Until I met Mr. And we walk with this journey together. I remember the day when we left here with a, a leader, Mr. Babedi. We went to Pretoria without knowing anyone, without having money. The first time when we went, I remember me and him after the church service. We went and accommodated ourselves in the miracle tent. You know, at the miracle tent, they were opening those flaps up. We went, we made the chairs round, me and him. Our bags were our pillowcases. Our bags, they were our pillowcases. And they were jackets. It was very cold. I was not feeling pity for myself. I was feeling pity for him. You know, I would wake up three. I would look at him. At four. You know those days, it was showering a little bit in South Africa. I woke up and looked at him again. Amen. And the journey began. And in all this, God has never forsaken me. Amen. And they thank the woman who God has said the ambassador. 
This is the woman who will carry your vision. My wife. A person of which if it, there is any difficult thing ever is to handle the prophet. And I want to say to ladies who are here who are still maybe into upcoming marriages or maybe you are married or you are serving the man of God. Don't serve them carnally. Serve them with the wisdom and the fear of God. When you look at them, see your creator in them. They are the heads. And also, husbands, save your wife knowing you are saving your own flesh. Love them. When you think like punching them, think when you were sleeping and she was taken out of your rib. Amen. And I want to thank you, my wife, the woman who stood with me day and the night. I remember the day of our wedding when my marriage proceedings were taking, were still on. I was still, you know, battling with things up and down to a level that that day when we were left about two weeks or some days, I was involved in an accident and I was hospitalized. I was being updated by the old procedures outside whilst I was in there. When I was in the hospital. And I, I remember when there were some days, days left. And I was carrying, you know, a huge bandage even in the, that big helmet in my head, you know. And I was still weak even to walk or to do anything. And uh, our parents, there and there, they were like, uh, maybe should we go there and shift the dates or tell the DCs that here is a situation one, two, three. You know, when these things have been brought to you as a, you know, you are a... a somebody who is getting married and the, all your things now marriage these procedures you know them those who, got, who are married and also been uh, seeing marriages they were all done i was in the bed my lobola was proceeded i was in the bed and i still kept and saying but with the, all these bandages I will go and appear on that last day. On the last day, it was not the hospital which removed the bandage on my head. I told God. God, and mind you, they were telling me in, the, in my head, I had a, a crack in the skull. I had a crack which did not want even air outside. I was supposed to be indoor, being observed. But that day, I stood up, I unwrapped my head. I went and appeared in my day of the wedding. And within, I think, we, not even an hour or anything, I was taken back to go and rest. In your day that you, you should be celebrating, I was taken back to go and rest. And in my heart, 
I was thanking God. I couldn't care about what was happening. But I thanked God. Amen. And I thank God for the support of my family, support of my in-laws, support of my wife, my beautiful wife, who gave birth to my three kids. Firstborns are the twins. And one of my beautiful angels is the one holding a camera. And um, I'm hoping, where is that king? Oh my God, uh, maybe he's in the media team or he's outside assisting there. Amen. And I pray God is the right day examination from five to pass. And to the lovely, the last one, and that one is our retirement package. He is somewhere there. Elijah. Amen and amen. These are my prayer partners. When you come to our house, you will find, you see what you see on us here. This is what you find at home. Amen and amen. And let me take, take, take this opportunity to thank you for gathering in this day. Amen. Though we know uh, things most like this are not easy journeys to experience in life. There will be most difficult journeys ever that you can experience ever in your life. I'm one person, I still remember one day when I heard a voice and the voice said, do you know we have long taken you? You are no longer living in your flesh and you have long died. I got scared and I sent the message to an associate. I got scared. I was told this, but I'm still working. Let me tell you, I'm a man of faith. That is why until today we're all gathered here. Yes. I was beat. I was thrown down. The Lord has happened. For this results for today not to manifest. But because I knew I'm not alone, there is God on my side. Here we are today. As young as I am, I want to thank God for the grace that he has put inside me. And the one thing that I want to thank God for is to always answer my prayers. I'm, I'm one person who mostly I pray for humbleness from God. You cannot find me, I'm angry. And when I say I love, I mean it. That is the greatest dimension God has given me. That is why no matter what the devil can do, that dimension of love, God has given it to me from a birth. Amen. And let me take this opportunity to thank God. If I can to refer the scripture in the book of Matthew 16, verse number 18. That the Lord said, I will, when he spoke to Peter, he said, on this rock I will build my church. And the gates, the heads of hell shall not overcome it. Here we are today. And we are still proceeding. By the grace of God. We will do exceedingly mighty things and still, you know, uh, celebrate many more anniversaries and many more better days. And as I talk about my better day, 
I want to thank my parents and thank my grandmother, my grandfather, uh, the giant Joseph Chitunga Piri, and all his um, families from the northern of Malawi. May his soul rest in peace wherever he is. May he find eternal rest. Amen. And thank the people of our small village. I grew up in a very small village. Um, you know, uh, most of the time, uh, you see, this will be the villages, people they despise mostly. These are the villages. And from these despised villages, that's where God raises whatever he wants. And I want to thank God. Amen. And glory goes to the Lord, the creator of heavens and earth. And that his works have never been in vain. And I thank everybody. And I thank all our leaders in the house of God. Above all, thank those whom we gathered in the first day when we registered the ministry. And to some of them, they were still young. I, 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 I remember... Uh, Jenny before she was very young I don't know which grade she was doing but she was very very young she was one of our secretary by that time in the committee we had Tato I remember one day when we were there and Ed Bush me and him after some months when somebody helped us now with the tent somebody who just passed and say I always pass here. I will be seeing this man sweating. Whether it's sun, he will be here under this tree sweating. Let me lend you the tent. One day we read to a rabbi picture ten days. Hey, how soon are you? Jacky, little re, he had it. Pia we be ita. Mungolo mungo na chwaka kona ya ha. Ibe iri. How would you Maharol? And a really more center in Ilitona. I better cook with Tayan, Molumma, Toko Conning, or Toko Wanana Cond. Me and Apostle Tat. I'm hoping he's here. He made a river at And we are too. And the service in it's an Aka eleven. I receive it with up. And rehearsed. I'm one person when it comes to sweeping the church. I swept the church from where we started. We moved to that place, that site. I will sweep and go and check if the toilets are okay. I will clean them. And even clean the chairs. And prepare everything. And I'll go to take a shower. And I'll go to the service. I remember one day, one man and his wife, they came. They looked for a prophet. They said, we heard the, the, there is a dangerous prophet here. And then to be like him. I said, I said, I said, I said, they went and set it down. I went and said, I cleaned the chairs. And I cleaned the chairs. And they said to one man, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I even ask them, can I bring you something? They said, no, 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 we are okay. I said, thank you. I went, I carried it on. From there, I went and took a shower. I came back. When I came, that man and the wife, the whole service do it like this.
and I love them very much. They are still around in our ministry. I love them so much. You see, what thing that lifts a man is humbleness. I can say to all married men who are pursuing the word of God or preaching the word of God, if you want to go far and you are married and God has given you a, 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 a wife besides you, never cheat in your life. For God to trust and uplift you. I'm telling you the truth. I am who I am today by fulfilling God's command. Though I'm a human, but I'm trying. Some years with my wife, when we met, we were very young, both me and her. And I'm hoping this year we are turning 12 or 13 in our arm. In the marriage, not in the if we count years of marriages. Amen. And I want to say to people, never despise humble beginnings. We want to thank God for bringing this ministry to so many people and using it to do so much good. And we thank God for being glue that brings our faith community together. And although it's been five years since this church was founded, and the amount of growth that has occurred has been alarmingly incredible. And we say praise be to God and congratulations to ourselves. on the great works so far and the best of luck for what has, is happening and what is yet to come. Ladies and gentlemen, this church seems to grow older but it is so stronger. When we look and view in its outreach and more dedication in its missions to come and everything ahead of us, And I as a prophet and those who see the church growing we cease not to be amazed by the power of God in keeping a congregation together faithfully worshipping him week and week out. May God actually love poor love to reign upon us spreading the gospel so diligently And we know God will strategically use this church for the spread of his kingdom, of his word. And he will always make this house a house of prayer. And that is my prayer. A house of healing. And above all, a house of God. Baholobami. I love you. Yes. And your support and your prayers and your love yes. they keep us moving. And above all I reverence my spiritual father Major One. The men I fear and respect. My spiritual father. And our spiritual mom, prophetess, Mary Bushiri. Yes. I love them so much. And they love me so much. Yes. And today we are gathered here and we are joined by so many, many people on the globe. Just by the grace of God. We are here today. We are alive. And we are having so many people watching on the line now. 
Some they are watching on Facebook. Some they are watching on Zoom. Some they are watching on YouTube. And all of this, I so humble myself. And until today, in God, I humble myself. In my spiritual father, I'm still a child to learn. And I want to give you this so that when you are home, you must keep on advising yourself unto this. I'm a man of God who never grow in learning. Even at Sunday ministry, I sometimes go and interact with them and learn something from them. And mostly even in people, I don't despise. I remember one day, um, Mother Betty, they took me somewhere. One of my lovely, lovely son in the house. By then, it was my first time of meeting him. The devil attacked him, and he became sick. And the people, they were, they were like, he's even stinking. Miss Babedi and Miss ba Mr. Babedi, they took me there. When we reached there, you could not even enter the house. When I entered, God said, my son, even if he's down on the bed, he cannot walk, he cannot do anything. Hug him. I don't remember what I don't remember what 2016. I went, I hugged him. And I released a short prayer. Immediately when I left, he stood up on his feet. And now to my mother, they do it like did. Santara wana mutons in there. Mama tating and ziyan, uhaga hela. I want to say to all our followers, all of those who are pursuing the word of God and those who are preaching, don't grow old in the things of God. Always humble yourself. No matter how things are oppressing or stressing, humble yourself. You know, wonder, I'm always a happy man. But most of the people, they don't know what I face. And after facing so many things, people are coming from afar with their, you know, stress and issues. When you begin to look as well in the spirit, things which are very deeply and they are affecting psychologically. And some of them will come and cry to you. And I, I love my master, whom I will face and give my cries unto him. I'm saying this because. Pastors, apostles, you know, leaders of gospel, we are going through things that are giving the pressure. Your own personality, ministry, people coming and telling you so sad stories. And if you are not careful, please. But you cannot say that. You are the mouthpiece of God. You must welcome them and encourage them and preach to them and speak a word to them and build them. 
and go and cry alone in your altar. And offload it to God. That is what most of the time I tell people that in my life I don't think there is a social worker who can cancel me. And I don't believe. I know why I'm saying that. My comforter. My own advisor is above. So to pastors, give yourself selfless. Die in your flesh. And live in the spirit. This man you see here, I sometimes look when I see people, they are firing weapons in me. How can you kill what has a long diet? It's a waste of time. How can you oppress what has long died? Most of the people sometimes they'll hear things that are oppressing, so stressing. But when they come here, they'll find me, I'm worshiping and I'm happy. And I want you all go and do that to your ministries. And go and humble yourself in those humble beginnings and don't despise them. Don't start up. Start it down. And go by stages. I'm telling you, when now things that were deep, I remember um, I did not notice I went out for some time out. Three months in the prayer and the fasting. And I couldn't recognize. When you hear the national pastor say, God made a plan to squeeze all those muscles. My weight, if you go and view them, in the where I was training, I was maintaining from 98 kg. Because I used to exceed that. And I went back and maintained from 98 90. 98 90. Hey, what with Jehovah? And say, my boy, go. Can you even know where I was working? There was a time now, a promotion a little bit came. Financial increment came. That is the year, actually the month, God said, go. Oh. <laughs> I give one to go. You go. You know, I became so stressed. Until the voice came that, hey, Yano, <laughs> transfer your guitar. I handed. I wrote a letter. I handed. They were like, "Are, are you serious?" I mean, who can do mutwai melody wa who who chule do who who siya ani who siya missing. So, what I want to say is, wait upon the Lord and hear from Him and abide in His voice and follow what God tells you. No matter what you can do in the hidden places, don't think you are alone. God is seeing it. If you want to go far in life, fear God. Love one another. Respect one another. Humble yourself to each other. Don't speak evil against each other. Because God is love. 
and to all sons and daughters in the house, those branches outside, all members of GTS here in the house of God. Continue learning. Continue becoming a child in the house of God. The work of God is very difficult. It's not as easy as you can think. You are not yet mature in the things of God. Be oppressed and grow. Be ill-treated and grow. Be gossiped and grow. I love you very much, directors of ceremonies. May God bless you very much, Apostle Modise, and was Lady Duelo, our worshippers. May God bless you very much, protocols, those who protect the prophet. May God bless you. Ushers in the house and everybody, Sunday ministry teachers. Amen and amen. As I'll be going back to my seat and welcoming you all, I say, Happy birthday to me. Yes. And I love me so much. Yes. A happy fifth anniversary, God Throne Salvation Church. Yes. May God increase this ministry. Yes. May God multiply this ministry. Yes. May God enlarge its territories. Yes. To every corner yes. of this world. Yes. And to every corner of the villages. Yes. We are going to touch them. Yes. And that is why when I composed one song, people they did not know why I'm composing this song. Mm. I was in 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 the mountain that day. You know, I was in Salima in Malawi. When I went to my spiritual father to the mountain, I'm ho my senior pastor here, the son of Major One, was with us present. When I was seated down like this, that is song was that day. You know, it came to my spirit that watch what is happening. The voice came to me and said, do you know what? By you being here, through the power of God, you will sing the songs of glory. And you will dance the, dun the dance of glory. And the people, they couldn't know why. Because the day when I traveled that time do you know I was ushered by whites in South Africa and after that me and my I think I was taken there by the national pastor we, we got arrested me and the, him and the and my wife, were we three or were we four? And the director. We, we got arrested. And I pray this should not happen. Christians must come and preach the love of God. We were so shocked. Because among people who drove in that road, my car was followed. And it surprised us. And I was removed out of the cars with the guns. And got arrested before I even reached where they were taking me to the airport, to Orotambo Airport. When I was there, God said, hear this. 
You are a prince. You are a king. That is why each and every day in all circumstances, in all worries, in all troubles, believe in your God. In all sickness, believe in your God. God of heavens and on earth. So I will sing the songs of glory. I will dance the dance of glory. I will sing the songs of glory. I will dance the dance of glory. Para Zuta Adus. As I go, I sit down, I humble yourself and hum. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much.
Or lena na olar na le tabo le zela. Ja ka e tabo e le tabo ya di po. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> All the other gods, they are the works of men. But you are the most I got. There is none like you. All the other gods, they are the works of men. 